Hi, this is Luke Bowman. Welcome to my instruction video for Oblivion by the Winery Dogs. First track from their second album, Hot Streak. I'm sure a few of you are expecting some more Corey Wong. There is plenty more of that coming in the new year. Um, but I just wanted to go through this track first because it's, it's a great track. One of my favourites to play. It took me a long time to learn it. I actually transcribed this a couple of years ago when the album came out. Because I wanted to figure out how he was doing this. So I thought I would share it now with you. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to detune your bottom E string. <laughs> Down to D. Which might be a bit of a pain if you've got a locking trem. So you can play the intro riff without tuning down, but if you want to play the main riff you need to be down to D. Today we're going to be looking at the intro to the song and the main riff, pretty much up to when Richie starts singing. I will have the tablature as usual on the screen, but if you look below, click the link, you can get a copy of the PDF with the tablature in it. If you find this video useful, please give it a like. Feel free to share it, and it would be great if you could subscribe to my channel. Also take a look at my Instagram and Facebook. Again, there's links below, because um, I do often post shorter videos on there that you can check out. But thanks very much for watching, and we'll get into it. Okay, so the first lick is pretty much predominantly played on the D and G strings. And it's using the open D string as kind of a pedal tone. What I would say with the speed of this, you almost have to get it where it's just kind of a muscle memory so you're playing the notes to get it at any kind of speed. So you need to ensure that you know the notes of your D minor scale. The key of the song is D minor, so all the notes are contained in the D minor scale. So if you're not really comfortable with exactly which notes belong in the D minor scale, it would be very useful for you to practice that before you learn it so you know where the notes are going to be. So on the D string, I've put the tablature here for you. G string. Okay, so we will be using most of those notes. So maybe have a practice playing up and down the string. Very often we're playing scales across the strings. In this lick, we're very much going up and down the same two strings, which is a kind of different way of looking at it. Well, I would say the only note we don't use is the B or the B flat. I've kept it simple to say D minor, we use the B flat. Actually, if you listen to the rest of the song, it's actually putting the B in there, which is kind of a D Dorian scale. But I'm not going to complicate it with all that at the moment. The tablature is there, so have a look through it. I've included it at the end of the song, so if you want to practice those notes going up and down. Okay, so let's take a look at the first bar. All the way through this lick, we're playing a couple of notes and then pulling off down to the D strings. So we're starting up here on the 19th fret of your G string, followed by the 17th fret of your D string. And then you pull off to the open D. One thing to remember, Richie doesn't use a pick. Very clever boy. So I guess he's... If you see him live, I think he's playing one of them with his finger and the other with his thumb. It's very also very important to try and mute the strings as much as possible here. Because you're doing the open pull off and there's a lot of movement, you can get a lot of noise and unwanted notes coming through there. So try and mute as much as possible with your right hand. So the first three notes. And that's pretty much the pattern we're doing, we're just going to keep moving on down. Next three notes, 17th fret, G string, 15th fret, D string, and then pull off. So I'm using my fourth and second fingers here, you could use your third and first. And we're doing that because the next three notes, you play the 17th fret again on your G string, and then the 14th fret on your D string. And then you pull off. So the next three notes, 14th fret of your G string, 12th fret of your D string, pull off to the open D. And then this bar ends, 12th fret G string, pull off to your open G. 12th fret D string, pull off to your open D. So we take that slowly. Next bar, very similar pattern. Starting on the 14th fret of your G string and the 12th fret of your D string and pull off to the open D. And then 12th fret of your G string, 10th fret of your D string, 12th fret of your G string, 9th fret of 
your D string and pull off. Then ninth fret, B G, seventh fret B D, pull off. Then the final bit is all on the G string. Seventh fret, pull off, fifth fret, pull off. Slowly. All 16th notes so the rhythm stays the same all the way through. So from the beginning, that's bar one, bar two, and then the third bar, seventh fret of your G string, fifth fret of your D string, pull off. 5th fret of your G, 3rd fret of your D, pull off to the open D, 5th fret again of your G, 2nd fret, pull off to the D, 5th fret of your G again, staying pretty much on that 5th fret on the G string, 3rd fret, pull off to the D string, and then 3, 2, string and then third fret on your A string. So we take that slowly. So again I'm pulling off three two only picking it the first time. Again I'm pretty sure that's what Richie does because he hasn't got a pick he can't do fast he's not fast alternate picking you can do very fast with his fingers but this is so fast I'm pretty sure he's uh, doing it legato style so that full phrase together then we have a bar of 2-4 and it's playing the 3 string and then 3-2 open string on your A string and then you're hitting a big D chord. So D major chord, you're just not playing the top, top string, but you're adding the, the bottom D It's a lovely lush sound. So that last bar goes like that. It's the full thing. Speed, it's obviously a lot more difficult. So much so that I can rarely get it right. Although I am using a pick, I'm like Richie, I'm kind of using my middle finger to play the G string. It's kind of a hybrid picking. Okay, so that, that chord is held for a little while. Mike starts playing on the offbeat and then we come in with the main riff. Again this is a very fast riff and it's probably easy just to learn the notes and try and get that muscle memory going. So it's repeated many times, same thing over and over. Okay so it starts with the bottom D, the D string, then third fret and then hammer on to the fifth fret. Part, third fret A string, pull off to the A string, and fifth fret your bottom D string, and then third fret on your D string, pull off to the D, open D, and then again the fifth fret on the bottom D, and then your third fret on the A string, pull off to the A, bottom open D, and then we're playing under these fingers. Bar. Fifth fret at your fifth fret on your D and your G. So playing a C chord. So playing a D. Could just play it like that, it's a lot easier. So again slowly. 
So the way I thought about this, you do that first, those first three notes, hammering on, and then it's kind of little patterns. It's three zero five. difficult bit to, to get going but if you start thinking it's always coming back to this it's coming back to your fifth fret okay so that's played a number of times I think seven in all so you're looking at the tablet chance repeated three times and then there's this Final seventh bar, and it ends like this. Again, looking at videos, I believe Richie is sliding up very quickly between your fifth and your sixth fret on the D string, and third fret on your D string, and then fifth fret on your A string, and then repeats. The tablet I put this as a sixteenth note triplet, so you're playing those three notes in the same time that it would take you to play two of them. So it gives it that kind of feel. Okay, so with the riff. And we go into the verse. These two chords are not actually on the tab here, it's... Third fret of your A string. third fret of your B string, applying kind of a C, C sus9, and then just dropping your, your finger down to the second fret of the A string, just like a G, G major chord, if you're tuned properly at the bottom you would play like that. I hope you got something from that and you can go away and learn that. So as I said earlier, take it very slowly at the beginning uh, and work your way up. So I hope you enjoy playing it. Please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you again on the next video. Thank you.